and I'll just zoom in later. What's up, YouTube? This is Antoine from High Desert Pythons, and I did not know that today I was going to run into the homie. Yeah. Boom! Over yeah. here, man. I'm with MJ right now. We're going to check out his stuff. We're going to chat it up a little bit before he goes. Yeah, so me and him both have a mutual friend. Uh, guy I do jujitsu with, so I came out here to train today, and my man showed up, so we're going to show, show off some snakes and put him on the other side of the microphone and the camera and pick his brain. So let's get... All right, man. So, you know, I, I know you're a ball python guy, Antoine, all right? So I, I do want to flex some of my 2020 holdbacks for you just to get this get this thing started, all yes, right? Sir. So you like pites? Yes, sir. All right, cool. So this is uh, my first holdback of last year, a Calico Leopard Lesser Banana 100% Het Pied. That's I wasn't able to hit the visual, but... That ringer. Yeah, that right there is a good indicator that she got what I need. So there's no way in hell I'm going to get rid of her, right? <laughs> so... I, I love banana combos and whatnot. I still I feel like anything with banana in it is an amazing. Uh, you can't go wrong basically with anything with banana in it. So, yeah, beautiful female. Can't wait to see what she does. All right, man. I'm, now, me personally, I'm a big GHI guy, so I'll show you one of my favorite GHIs I was able to hatch out and keep of 2020. So this right here, she's full of uh, full of rats right now, rat pups. But this right here is a GHI Mojave Orange Ghost female 2020 and uh yeah she came from a clutch majority of bells but she was one of the only ghis in the uh clutch and man she just came out beautiful all right so here's one of my studs right here this is my pastel sugar inchy leopard 100 percent head pie White goes up, it's crazy. Yeah, and he's already four years, so I mean, the cool thing is, like, he's, he's keeping what you see, which for the most part, I'm sure some of it might fade away throughout time. These snakes do reach over the age of 20, 30 years old, so, but you should have saw what he looked like as a baby. It's like a damn portrait. So, I recently got really crazy about working with Blue Dye Lucy's that have GHI and Orange Ghost inside of them, so I was able to hatch out these two beauties from the same clutch. These are Blue Dye Lucy, GHI, Orange Ghost see the pattern on it yeah which these are siblings so the ones I just showed you and actually I lied I forgot this one is also was in the clutch I had two GHI so this one is also a sibling as well wow. all right so these are the clown combos I produced from last year um, pastel Blade, and she clown. Both actually have the same genetics. This one's just in, in a shed, but both females and uh, yeah, man. Very excited to actually hold these back. I didn't hold any clowns back last year, so or the year before. So that head stamp, yeah, yeah. It's, it doesn't just have that orange dream like little vibe <laughs> to it, like you know, like pewter fly. So you have pastel cinnamon firefly highway. Sister, and this one is what? That's just an ivory. I think that's just an ivory pastel. Um, excuse me, an ivory pewter. I mean, I don't know. I, I can't call it a highway. Yeah. It's just a really fucking intense ivory. Like, ivory's no joke on that thing. But yeah, those are sisters right there. No, so uh, yeah. Orange Dream Yellow Belly and uh Gen X Pied. That's crazy. Oh, Yellow Belly. Did I say? Oh, yeah, I said yeah. Yellow Belly. Okay, Orange Dream Yellow Belly and Anchi Gen X Pied. Yeah, world's first produced by Miguel Garcia. He, uh, there's only two out there. I have one, he has one. Both females. Right there. Cypress Mojave. Hopefully, hopefully head pie. That's my, my uh, house down here. For first. real. That's, what, that's like 10k right there. Wow. It's crazy what these snakes can do, bro. Snakes. You, know? you never thought snakes. You know, you know, what the fuck? Snakes, really? Alera, Condro. Right? So, Alera is the locality. So, that's typically 
that's kind of already going through its OCC uh, process, which is ongoing genetic color change. Um, so it's kind of like you see the red coming in and whatnot, but that thing was super yellow when it came out. Transition into, so this is a BIAC, right? So look at that. That was actually a red neonate. What's crazy is like they go from red to yellow green. But that right there is a special kind of green right there. You don't really see that type of tone. So these are from Sundas Islands down in south of Indonesia. Really, really awesome snake. They're relatives of the retics, but not a retic. Um, just an amazing snake. Not a lot of people work with them. They're getting more popular. Uh, people are wanting them more, but now these can't get imported as much. So, you know, I got a group of 12 of them. She's been bred so far, and I'm actually gonna put the male in with her right now since she just ate and see how that goes. This is a 2014 male Timor Python, and this is the one that's been bred to the female that I just showed you. And uh, yeah, man, I'm gonna put him in right now with her. You should just go right in, right in with her, cause he, uh, you know. So another breeding project of mine, the white lit python. These are BIAC localities. So, you know, northern white lips that come from northern uh, part from where they're from, these are technically the BIAC localities. So they're like mid from southern to north. But these take these get a lot bigger than the typical northerns. Our homeboys. Yeah, that's, that's what they look like when they're babies. Oh yeah. Lights you up too. I'ma just I'ma just zoom in on you. <laughs> it's waiting. Come, he's like, come closer. I dare you to come closer. I said, you going to be. Oh, okay. I see it now. She's chilling. These chillin'. are venomous, rear fang venomous. Not like rattlesnakes, though. Like more of like a bee sting if you were to get bit. But these are all docile. I have a group of three of these. I have two baby males and I have a big female inside the house. So, it's nuts. Dang. <laughs> so, this is my super hypo false water cobra female. Had since a hatchling. She's going on about four years old now. Um, they're snake eaters. They're very food aggressive. So, super sketchy to pair. So, I'm not in any rush, but yeah, this is the female. the male false water cobra who's a hypo and uh yeah the food response is on so the pop one olive is uh, an amazing species but limited people could get these to breed or if not almost nobody could get these to breed because the female is notorious of eating the male so these are very known to eat each other but when it comes to breeding the males always get eaten by the female so there's my girl right here she's actually a real sweetheart These get 12 feet. This ain't nothing. This is she's barely a juvenile, so she'll get 12 feet. Really, really big. Probably like see that retic right there, that brown one. Like mm -hmm. that. That's how big she'll get. Yeah. yeah. Crazy teeth. That's Tia. That's Tamara. Deep sniff. That's a big old rat. Now that is an emerald tree boa. 16. So this is what started it off for me right here. So this is Mimi, the Bia Caprini tree python. She's about 1500 grams. She's beastie. Okay. Oh, there you go. So, uh, this is the uh, project right here, the Pure Sarong locality project. So the true blue chondros that you see in magazines come from these two localities. So this is what makes a true blue snake right here. Okay, dude, can you not do that? There we go. All right, 
So here is my sarong locality scrub python. Probably one of my favorite animals I keep, I'm not even gonna lie. It's hard to pick a favorite, but this thing, every time I pull it out, it's the one that gets, gets my heart racing a little bit. It's one of the strongest snakes I have by far. Look at the headshot, it's all about the headshot. Real quick, okay? I'll let you get sometimes. Wow. Oh, don't do that hand again. <laughs> <laughs> this is my Melanota Bo Boega dendrophila. So this is my uh, mangrove cat snake. Rear fang venomous. He's been bred to a couple of my females this, uh, this year so far. Um, gorgeous, man. Imported snake, but he's been dialed in with me for the last two and a half years and never misses a meal. He's probably gonna bite your phone. I'm just assuming I can feel his body getting rich. Here we have my Boega Senia. Uh, so this is my uh, green-headed cat snake. Captain born and bred. By Jordan Russell. Gorgeous fucking animal, man. So this is a, a grow-up female. She's uh, about two years old, so still has another two years to breed. But definitely one of my favorite animals. You catch me saying that a lot, but. So they still try to get you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> <Fuck. laughs> it's diet game up, bro. It's a small grower, so. That's why its head looks like it's all swole. It's swole, man. This is a female, too. It's like the pit bull of the damn snake. Yeah, it's right here. This is a pity right here. Oh, that's tight. So this is uh, another sarong locality. You gonna light him up or what? Just... <laughs> 